Today, we're going to be talking about Google's Q2 earnings. They just occurred yesterday, and I'm going to go over what this means for investors, what were the results, the stock market reaction, and what analysts are saying about the future of Google. So as always, I'm here giving information so that you can make detailed decisions and just be up on the stock market news. Remember to comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay updated with all things finance and investing. Also, make sure to check out my referral links. They will be pinned in the comments and also in the description. So let's get started. Alphabet reported their revenue for the second quarter. And let's take a look at what their results were. They surpassed analyst expectations. This is an impressive performance that was driven by the strong growth in the Google advertising business. Wouldn't saw a significant rebound as businesses have been ramping up their post-pandemic spending. So they came in above estimates when it comes to revenue, earnings per share, as well as advertising revenue. The company's net income has soared to $18.52 billion, up from $13.41 billion in the same quarter last year. Some interesting points when it comes to Google is that one of their standout performers is YouTube, which saw an over 49% increase in their revenue, bringing in $7 billion for the quarter. This highlights the growing influence of video content and the shift towards digital advertising. Another key point is the performance of Google Cloud. Although it's still not profitable, its revenue is up by 54%, and it's a clear indication that Google is making significant strides into the cloud computing market so they're making sure that they can compete against other giants in that arena like Amazon and Microsoft. So before we get into the analyst ratings and the performance as of today, I want to take a quick look at this. This is a screenshot from yesterday after the earnings report. And as you can see, right after the closing of the market, there was a significant dip below 175 right after the market closed, like the first five minutes after closing. And then to look at it today, when I'm filming this on July 24th, the stock price is down 5% on the day. And we had another significant dip in um, after hours. But today, a little bit later, about 5.05 p.m., it dipped down to below 162. But as of the time that I'm recording, the current stock price is 172.63. I'm just highlighting those dips that happened in the after hours because those could have been times for you to have your limit order in and snag a even lower price, much more significant than the few percent. I'm taking a look at some of the analyst ratings in the Moomoo Investing app and 85% rated a strong buy few analyst ratings, Bank of America, 206, Jefferies, 220, Wells Fargo, 190, Glaze, 200. However, not all analysts are entirely bullish when it comes to Google. Some have expressed concerns about the potential regulatory challenges and the impact of Apple's privacy changes on Google's ad business. These are important factors to consider when evaluating the stock's performance. So I don't invest into everything that I share on this channel, but when, but when it comes to Google, I am an investor. If you are considering investing, it's crucial to do your research, know about your investment goals, make sure that this is an investment choice that is in line with what you are looking for. For me, it's a long-term hold, and I've been building into this position for several years now. So even on days like yesterday and today, when it pulls back a bit, it is not a drastic difference in my portfolio. Right now, I am still up. 36.69% on my Google investments, but I am down on the day, the 5% that I shared. So very often the market does not react the way that you would expect based on their earnings results, which were strong. 
but it's essential to keep in mind that the market can be volatile and there's so many other factors other than just the results that can impact a stock price. Like I said, the regulatory pressures, market trends. So you have to be prepared to deal with the fluctuations, especially when you first start investing. So as always, just stay focused on your long-term goals, but have your eyes open to pay attention to the news related to any individual positions that you are focused on and that you have added to your portfolio. I think we can all be successful investors, but we will all face challenges from time to time, challenges and setbacks. But in my experience, they lessen over time after you've really put in the work to be consistent and build out certain positions. You're not as impacted quickly when you have to deal with a few percent fluctuation in the stock price. So I encourage you to get going if you're not already. Make sure that you're investing on a regular basis. Stay committed, be patient, and put in the work to continue to build up your knowledge when it comes to your investments. Looking ahead, Google Alphabet is positioned to continue on its path to growth. The company has diverse revenue streams, including the advertising, cloud computing, and then other things that we may not even be aware of, like Verily, which tackles health's biggest challenges by developing tools and services and software to help customers in the healthcare ecosystem. And something else that I have mentioned before, Google's investment into Waymo, which is a autonomous driving vehicle. This in headline is actually from today. Alphabet invests another $5 billion in self-driving startup Waymo. And maybe not in your area, your city, but it says here that Waymo is conducting more than 50,000 paid rides a week. We have to be aware of the good and the bad. We need to keep our eye on potential changes, as I said, with regulatory scrutiny, competition, and things shifting in the industry trends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Let me know your thoughts about Alphabet's earnings. Will the company continue to outperform? Do you have any concerns about potential changes that can impact this company? Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.